empty spaces, what are we living for? Abandoned places, I guess we know the score. On and on, does anybody know what we are looking for? Another hero, another mindless crime. Behind the curtain, in the pantomime, hold the line. Does anybody want to take it anymore? I am your host Natty, and what I just read for you is just some of the lyrics to Queen's 1992 song, The Show Must Go On. I have been listening to the song more and more over the years, and I have gradually begun to realize just how deep the song truly is in what it covers. So that's what I am wishing to discuss this day. Come along with me as we take a look into this rather emotional number on this episode of Nat Reviews. Act 1. Setting the Picture I am sure you do not need me to introduce you to the great tragedy that was the AIDS epidemic, but this song is quite certainly referencing the epidemic in its lyrics. So, to better understand the song, allow me to set the picture. The AIDS epidemic was tearing across the world by the late 1980s and numerous celebrities had high-profile deaths over the disease. Each death rose the awareness of the world further and further to the disease. The public certainly had grown to know it, even as governments of the world for the most part ignored it. The immense scale of the effects of the crisis had on the world are still being felt to this day. The covering up and ignoring of the epidemic by most of the world's governments shall go down as one of the worst tragedies of the second half of the 20th century. The world hadn't known it yet, but one of the largest stars in rock music, Freddie Mercury, was about to pass of the very illness that was sweeping the world. Exactly when Freddie had contracted the disease is uncertain, but in 1987, he had been diagnosed. He would not reveal that he had contracted AIDS until the day before his untimely death at the age of 45. Freddie was an intelligent man. He knew what was going on around him and he saw how the world was treating the disease. It was known as the gay disease and members of the LGBT community were targeted for violent attacks by many in society. The disease was slowly destroying him, and he was such a public figure. But he knew revealing that he had the illness may very well be disastrous for what career he had left. So he remained silent for years. But by the 90s, he knew he was knocking on heaven's door. He knew the end was near. So what better way to go out than to do it the way only Freddy could? He set out to create a massive song in order to express his emotions and state of being. Act 2. The Song It was 1990 and the effect of Freddie's illness were clearly showing for the frontman of Queen. They were back in the studio to record their record Innuendo, which would turn out to be the last record the band would create in Freddie's lifetime. There were doubts when it came time for Freddie to sing his vocals due to his condition. However, the front man didn't back down. He took a shot of his beverage and set off to record perhaps the finest vocal performance of his career. Freddie's sheer emotion and power in his delivery on the show must go on silenced any doubts the band had on Freddie's ability. The song was now complete, the fitting bow to wrap up the album. An album engulfed in innuendo ends with a song filled to the rim with even more metaphor and innuendo. The song may come off hard to decipher at first, 
But if one pays close attention to the historical context of the time, and what we would later find out about Freddy's condition, this song paints a pretty clear picture of how Freddy was feeling in his final days. He knew he couldn't just stop and give up, he desired to keep on and shine. He displays his revelation that he will soon die, and he comes to terms with it. This song is a perfect symphony in tragedy. The pain he felt not only in his condition, but also they had to keep it a secret for so long out of fear of what would happen to him had he come out about his condition. As he had to keep things secreted away, he had to keep the show going. It must go on. In this other sense, it shows that the title of the song itself has multiple meanings. On one hand, it is a positive outlook that, even in challenging times, he perseveres. On the other, it shows the pain he is feeling internally, being forced to act like nothing is wrong in order to save his career. Freddy thus had to keep silent, reaching out for help in the silence. The musical accompaniment showcases the somber tone of the song on one side and the triumphant side of him attempting to persevere in his personal tragedy. He had to keep a positive face going and kept having to play the game that was the music industry. He couldn't reveal his true self. On the surface, he had to keep the show going on, but on the inside, he was aching to be free, as he would put it so poetically in the song. He couldn't truly tell it all out front, and so he disguised what he had to say in innuendo and metaphor. He had grown tired of having to act like all was good, and so this masterpiece was born. His vocal delivery completely blows me away to this day. The sheer level of emotion and power in his performance is astonishing. This song still stands as perhaps my all-time favorite the band ever put out. It is queen perfection. It has all the elements of what made the band great. Act 3. Conclusion The song is quite simply a masterpiece. There is no other way to put it. Musically, it has so many elements that tell the story of the song. It goes from B minor to C sharp minor, as if to imply a sense of hope before it collapses back down to B minor, a telling sign. Becoming grandiose in the chorus to portray the image of the band, having to keep their image intact in the public eye. But behind the scenes, Freddy was deteriorating. I of course am not Freddy, so I can only speculate what he must have been feeling or what his meaning in the song is. But this is all just how I interpret the work that is laid before me here. I do however believe the song is a masterpiece and certainly one of the Queen catalog everyone should listen to. I do hope you enjoy it. The song only gets greater the more you understand its historical context. You can truly learn to appreciate music much more with the context that surrounds it. I suppose that is something I strive to accomplish in these videos. It was quite a different world when I had begun writing rough drafts more like scattered ideas back in December of last year. The video originally was to end with a certain line in it. Who knew how much different the world would become in just a handful of months? This video was quite an interesting one to work on, and I hope you all at least learned something from it. Do let me know what your own thoughts of the song are in the comments below, and perhaps let me know what you thought of the video itself as well. I have been your host Natty, and much like the song proclaims, the show must go on. <laughs> Now, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one.